Greetings, everyone. Welcome to this midweek message once again. Father Joe is my name, in case you're wondering. I'm absolutely delighted to be with you for, for what I hope is a moment of inspiration as we celebrate this midweek together. Would you say of late that you have been cranky or kind? This past weekend, I must admit, I caught myself being a little bit more cranky than I ordinarily am. I caught myself being a little short with a few people and, and I sincerely apologize for that. At the same time, I think it's somewhat understandable and normal as we continue to move through this lengthy pandemic together that a little crankiness is gonna creep into our lives. I know last weekend it came to my attention that several people who were responsible for, re for registering people who wanted to attend Mass, either at St. Anne's or St. Catherine's last weekend, um, they found a little crankiness in people as well. It's somewhat of an inconvenience to have to register to go to Mass, isn't it? But in the overall scheme of things, how big is it really? when you really and truly stop and consider everything that's going on in people's lives. Have you been cranky? Perhaps could you be just a little bit more kind? I know in terms of my own life, I want kindness to triumph over crankiness. And that's something that I struggle with each and every single day. And doing it with you makes all the sense in the world. I want to share a little story with you that maybe you've heard before, maybe you haven't. It's always a good thing to hear it again, even if you have heard it. I know in my case, every time I ponder this story, it just kind of helps me to put things in perspective. And it makes me consider how blessed I am, even during this pandemic time, when inconvenience can really creep in and render us more cranky than we should be. Story goes like this. An elderly man was diagnosed with COVID-19. He spent months in the hospital on a ventilator, which enabled him to breathe and to stay alive. Fortunately for him and for his family, he recovered due to the extraordinary care of the medical staff. Soon after his discharge, he reviewed his itemized hospital bills. His ventilator expense alone was $69,000, which was not covered by his medical insurance. Following up, he made an appointment to see the billing personnel at the hospital to discuss the bill. He raised the issue with the hospital personnel regarding the ventilator expense. And he began to cry. The people in the room became very upset themselves with the man's emotional response. And they attempted to assure the elderly man that the hospital would work out a reasonable payment schedule. The elderly gentleman thanked them for their understanding and kindness and then said, I'm not worried about paying the $69,000 ventilator bill. I am upset with myself. You see, I have been breathing God's fresh air free of charge all my life. And I never thank God for that gift. I never realized what a gift I possessed until I was affected with COVID-19 and needed the use of a ventilator to breathe. It's so easy for our hearts sometimes to get hardened. I know in my own case, I catch myself all the time. And a story like this softens it a bit and it helps me to put things in perspective. When was the last time you thanked God for the gift of every single breath that you are able to take 
on your own. What a great gift that is. A gift that I should never assume or presume or take for granted. Let's allow the experience of this elderly gentleman in the story this morning to help us to put things in perspective. So next time I'm, I'm confronted with the task of having to register before attending a liturgy on Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning, I don't take a nutty. I realize what a great privilege and what a great opportunity that is to be able to gather with my sisters and brothers and to give God the worship and praise and thanks which are his due. We may not be living in the most ideal times right now, but if we truly cooperate with God and with one another, everything is going to be okay, more than okay. I believe that with all my heart, especially if we are willing to take the journey from crankiness to just a little bit more kindness. Because wouldn't you agree that the world in which we live could use a greater dose of kindness? Let's hang in there with one another and continue to pray for one another as we are privileged to journey together in faith. Blessings.